Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Sir Sed, and for this video, we're going to discuss the last part of our conic section, and that is what you call the hyperbola. So in this video, we're going to discuss what are the what is the definition of hyperbola. Okay, ano ano yung mga parts of hyperbola, and lastly, what are the equations under hyperbola? Nakwa? So yan yung magiging focus for this video. Now to start with, let's define what is an hyperbola. Okay? So pag sinabi natin hyperbola, it is a plane intersecting a double nap cone vertically. Okay? So for example here, we have a double nap cone and it is being intersected by a plane in a vertical way. Yung shape na mapuform natin students is what you call the hyperbola. Now, if we're going to put hyperbola on our Cartesian plane, ganyan yung magiging face niya. Okay? So, parang dalawang curve that faces on opposite direction. Okay? One faces on the right, one faces on the left. Okay? Sometimes, one faces up and one faces down. Depende sa kung ano yung equation natin. Now, let's identify the different parts. The first part that I would like to give emphasis is what you call the principal Axis, okay? Pag sinabi natin principal axis, that is the axis wherein the um, nag-i-intersect yung hyperbola natin. Or, it is an axis that intersect our hyperbola or curves. Kuha? So, it has two point of intersection. Okay? Ang tawag sa two point of intersection na yun is what you call the vertex. Okay? Yung point na nag-i-intersect yung, yung principal axis natin tsaka yung hyperbola natin is the vertex. Yung midpoint ng vertex is what you call the center. Okay? And from the, um, another point is what you call the focus. Yung focus naman is the, um, kung yan, uh, pag sinabi natin focus, that is a fixed point in the principal axis. Okay? Wherein yung measure niya from the center papunta sa focus is greater than from the center papunta sa vertex. Okay? Just take note of that one. Okay, next, let's proceed with the different axes na makikita natin sa hyperbola. Number one there is what you call the transverse axis. Pag sinabi natin transverse axis, it is a line segment connecting our two vertex. So here, it, here is our vertex and here is our vertex. If we connect that one, na yung line segment ng tawag dyan is transverse axis. Okay? Next is what you call the focal distance. Pag sinabi natin focal distance, that is from the center to the focus. Yan yung focal distance. Lastly, the minor axis. Pag sinabi natin minor axis or other term is what you call the conjugate axis. Okay? It is a line segment perpendicular to our transverse axis and also it goes through our center. That means dumadaan din siya sa ating center. Okay? Yan yung ibig sabihin ng uh, minor axis or conjugate axis. Now, let's proceed with the relation between A, B, and C on our hyperbola. We have a relation of A, B, and C in our ellipse, but it's different from our hyperbola. Okay? <clears throat> so, in our hyperbola, um, A is what you call the half of the transverse axis. That means A is from the vertex, okay, from the vertex to the center. Wa, yan yung A natin, or half of transverse axis. Next is C. C is C represents um, the focal distance from the center to the focus. Wa? And B represents half of the conjugate axis. So those are the um, relation between yeah the relationship between A, B, and C. So again, they have um, we have a formula for that one. So the formula natin with regards to that A, B, and C is b squared equals c squared minus a squared. Again, yung b is the conjugate axis that represents the conjugate axis. c is the focal distance. a is half of the transverse axis. Okay? So, let's have a sample problem with regards to this one. So, let's say we have... Um, there you have it. Let's say example number one. Example number one, if the focal distance of the hyperbola is 10 units and half of its transverse axis is 8 units, what is the distance from the center of the hyperbola to one of the endpoints of the conjugate axis? Okay? So again, first, let's jot down the given. Given number one there is focal distance is 10. Now, yung focal distance natin dito is C. Therefore, C equals 10. Right? Next is... 
yung transverse axis. Half of transverse axis here is 8. Yung given natin sa ating quick formula, yung A equals 8. That means we are looking for B. Or from the center to the end point of conjugate axis. Yan yung hinahanap natin dito, students. Okay? Next is, of course, if we uh, meron na tayong given, all we can do now is substitute it to, o, to our formula. So, we have B squared equals, yung C natin is 10 squared, okay? Minus 8 squared, kasi A is equal to 8, right? So, that will be B squared equals 100 minus 64, tama? Kasi 100 squared, uh, 10 squared is 100, 8 squared is 64, okay? Next, Minus lang. So, that would be equal to 10 minus 64 is 36. Now, we're looking for B, not B squared. So, kinakailangan mawala yung squared. All we have to do is put a square root sign or radical sign in both sides of the equation. Kasi kabalik taran ng square is square root. Matitra is B equals square root of 36 and that is equal to 6. And there you have it. That is our answer for problem number 1. Okay. Now, let's have another problem with regards to the relation of A, B, and C. Another problem is, for example, number 2, we have here, okay, the foci of hyperbola are at, li are at positive 8, negative 8, 0, okay? And, <clears throat> oh, sorry, find the distance from the center of the hyperbola to one of its vertices of the endpoints of the con. Yeah, distance from the center of the hyperbola to one of its vertices if the endpoints of the conjugate axis it are at 0, positive, negative 6. Okay, so first, let's jot down all of our given. Ano nga bang given natin, students? Yung given natin dyan is the endpoint, okay, or the foci. Yung foci ang given natin dyan, so that would be 0, positive 8. So, yeah. Yung foci natin, alright, that is positive 8 and negative 8, 0. Right? And then, yung end of conjugate axis is 0, positive, negative 6. So, end point of conjugate axis is 0, positive, negative 6. So, conjugate axis dito. So, that will be 0, positive, negative 6. Okay? So, let's try to graph students para mas madaling maintindihan. If we're going to graph that one, anong ibig sabihin ng focus? Focus is positive 8, 0. Positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. It's right there. And also, we have negative 8. So, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's right there. Yan yung focus natin. Okay? Next is end point of conjugate axis. Conjugate axis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kasi negative 6. Right? It's right here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's right there. Kasi nga positive 6. Okay? Now, we can determine actually yung A, B, and C. Now, actually yung A hindi pa. Pero yung B tsaka C is pwede na. Kasi yung C is the distance from the center to the focus. And that would be equal to 8. If we're going to count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units. That means C equals 8. Okay? So, obviously, B equals to 6. Kasi from the center, papunda dito is 6 units. Okay? And A, yung missing natin. Yan yung isosolve natin for this um, time. So, since we, ha we now have the given, we can substitute it sa ating formula. Yung formula natin na ganito. Ano yung B? That is 6. So, that would be 6 squared equals C na 8 squared minus A squared. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung A squared. Okay? Next step is transpose yung negative A squared sa kabila. So, from negative magiging positive A squared equals 8 squared. Yung positive 6 squared transpose to the right side magiging negative 6 squared. Okay? Change the sign. So, A squared equals 64 minus 36. Tama? So, A squared equals 64 minus 36 is 28. The square root both sides kasi nga para makancel yung squared at matitira is A. A is equal to square root of yung 28 is not a perfect square number. However, it has a factor na perfect square number and that is 7 
times 4. Tama? So therefore, A equals, anong square root ng 4? 2. Palabas natin siya sa radical sign, matitira sa loob is 7. 2 square root of 7. That is our A. Okay? So we've solved the problem number 2. Go, ha? Let's proceed with problem number 3. So problem number 3, students, let's have this example. Okay, what is the standard form of the equation of hyperbola with the center at the origin transverse axis? On the x-axis, a equals 5 and b equals 3. Now, students, in this particular problem, we have to identify first the standard form of equations ng ating hyperbola. Okay? So first, let me introduce you to the standard form of equations ng hyperbola. We have four, actually, students. Okay? We have four standard form of equation, and it is divided into two. Okay? The first one is if the center is in the origin, 0, 0. Yan yung center natin. What is the equation of the hyperbola? Okay? Pagdating sa standard form, that would be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Okay? Tandaan nyo lang na yung a dito refers to the transverse axis, yung b refers to the conjugate axis. Kuha? Another equation is y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared. That is equal to 1. Okay? Now, sir, teka lang. Ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang equation? Yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang equation, students, is kung ano yung nasa itaas ng A. Okay? On this part, sa first equation natin, yung nasa taas ng A is X. That means our hyperbola is horizontal. Okay? If nasa taas ng A is X, yung hyperbola natin is horizontal. Ganyan. Okay? That is our hyperbola. If nasa taas ng A is Y, our hyperbola is vertical. Nakuha? So, take note of that equations. Okay? So, to copy this one. Or you can take a screenshot. Okay? So, let me proceed with the second one or the second group of equation. Next one is what you call the if the center is not in the origin but at point. Okay? If hindi na siya sa origin pero nasa point H, K. Okay? H being the X coordinate, K being the Y coordinate. Ano yung... Um, Ano yung magiging standard form of equation natin? That would be x minus h quantity squared, right? Over a squared minus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. Okay? And the other one is y minus k quantity squared. Okay? All over a squared minus x minus h Quantity squared over B squared equals 1. Kuha? Yan yung um, equation natin. Same as uh, kanina. Okay? Kung ano yung nasa itaas ng A, uh, ganun din yung magiging itsura ng graph natin. For example, A, ano nasa taas niya is X, therefore horizontal pa rin. Nata nasa taas dito is Y, therefore vertical naman dito. Okay? Yung pinagkaiba lang kanina is kanina yung center natin is at 0, 0. This time, meron na tayong value ng center. That is H and K. Diba? So, those are the examples of, uh, those are the standard form of equations ng, uh, ng hyperbola natin. Okay? Now, in this case, hmm, let's identify, or yeah, but we um, will go back to our example kanina. Nan. What is the standard form of equation of the hyperbola with the center at the origin? So that is the first given students. Yung center natin is in the origin. Okay? So again, center is in the origin 0, 0. Next is um, transverse axis is on the x-axis. So, if the transverse axis is on the x-axis, that means horizontal. Okay? That means horizontal yung graph natin. And A equals 5, B equals 3. So, A equals 5, B equals 3. Okay? 
Now, in this case, students, since horizontal tayo, anong equation ang gagamitin natin? Or anong form of equation ang gagamitin natin? That is x over, or x squared over a squared. Dapat na yung nasa taas ng a is x kasi nga horizontal tayo. That would be minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Kasi nga, center natin is 0, 0. So, walang h at walang k. Diba? So, that would be substitute lang all of the given x squared over yung a natin is 5 squared minus y squared over 3 squared tama? b equals 1. Diba? So, x squared over 25 minus y squared over 9 equals 1. Yan yung standard form of equation ng hyperbola. Okay? Next, let's proceed with question number 4. Now, so question number 4 naman, students, let's have determine the standard form of equation of hyperbola with vertices 3, 1, 11, 1, and foci at negative 3, 1, 17, 1. Okay. So, again, let's jot down the given. Yung given natin is, um, we have na given na, um, again, vertex is at 3, 1, and um, we have 11, 1. 11, 1. Okay? Another is our foci. Our foci is at point um, negative 3, 1, and then that is 17, 1. Okay? Identify our um standard form of equation ng ating um, hyperbola. Now, students, again, if you can still remember our standard form of equation, tatlo lang naman yung hinahanap natin doon. The center, okay? We must know what is our center. We must know what is our A, okay? We, we must know what is our B, okay? We have to take note of the, those given. Now, since our given is only the vertex and the foci, we have to understood. Sabi ko kanina, um, yung midpoint ng center, or sorry, yung midpoint ng vertex natin or vertices natin is what you call the um, center. Okay? So, yung midpoint ng vertices natin is the center. Oh, by the way, let's try to graph first para makita natin kung horizontal ba or per, uh, vertical yung graph natin. So, try natin graph. Let's say that is yung vertex muna, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, right there. Okay? 11, 1, so 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1. It's right there. Okay? Yung foci naman is at negative 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, it's right here. And 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so it's right there. So in this case, huh? Vertex, vertex, yung hyperbola natin is horizontal. Take note of that one. Horizontal. Okay? Kasi gagamitin natin yan later. Now, balik tayo sa equation natin or sa given natin. Sabi ko kanina, yung midpoint ng vertex or ng dalawang vertex is the center. Ano ba yung formula ng midpoint natin? Formula ng midpoint natin, students, or yeah, midpoint, is equal to, okay, that is x sub 2 plus x sub 1 all over 2, okay, and then y sub 2 plus y sub 1 all over 2. Yan yung formula for the midpoint. Since we have two ordered pairs given, we can um, assign the x sub 2, x sub 1, y sub 2, y sub 1. So let's say this is x sub 1, this is y sub 1, okay, this is x sub 2, this is y sub 2. Just be careful on assigning the um, given, ha? Because um, clue lang here, if we choose yung 3 na x sub 1, dapat yung kasama niya is y sub 1. Hindi pwede mag y sub 2. Okay? Always magkasama yung x sub 1 at y sub 1. And of course, same sa x sub 2 ka, uh, at saka y sub 2. Okay? So this time, we can substitute it to our given. So, ang midpoint, sabi ko kanina, is the center. Center would be equal to yung x sub 2, 11, plus yung x sub 1, 3, over 2. Okay? 11 plus 3 over 2. 
And uh, the other one is y sub 2, um, 1, plus y sub 1, no 1 then, over 2. So this will be equal to 11 plus 3 is 14 over 2. And then 1 plus 1 is 2 over 2. That is our center. So we have here center equals 7, 1. Therefore, our center is at point 7, 1. So I'll erase this one. Okay? Yung given natin sa center would be 7, 1. Paki take note. Okay? We're done with the center. That is the given. Let's now try to find for A and B. Now, yung clue natin dyan is the vertex. From the center, okay? From the center to the vertex, ano yung measure niyan? That is our A, right? Kung matatandaan nyo, for example, here is the vertex. From the center to the vertex is our A. Tama? So therefore, if we're going to solve the distance from the center to any of these vertices, we can find out for our A. Ano nga ba yung formula natin for the distance? Yung formula natin for the distance is D equals square root of x sub 2, right? x sub 2 minus x sub 1, quantity squared, plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, quantity squared. Kuha? Yan yung formula natin sa um, distance. Now, ano yung distance na hinahanap natin? Distance ng A from the center to the vertex. Therefore, yung distance, we can change that into A. And then, assign. Let's say, gagamitin natin yung 3, 1 sa vertex. Okay? Never mind yung 11, 1. Gamitin natin yung 3, 1. Let's say, x sub 1 yung 3, y sub 1 yung 1. And this one, since this is x sub 1, this would be x sub 2, y sub 2. Nakawa? Now, in this case, hmm, yung substitute lang to our given, that would be x sub 2 is 7 minus x sub 1 na 3 squared. Okay? Just follow the formula. Plus y sub 2 na 1 minus 1 na y sub 1 squared. Okay? Ito siya. At saka ito. That would be equal to square root of 7 minus 3 is 4 squared. Plus, um, wala na. Kasi 1 plus 1 is 0 na rin. So, square root of 4 squared na lang dyan ang matitira. Since, kabalik tara ng square root is 4 uh, squared, pwede makancel. Pero sige, let's try to do this one. So, A would be equal to square root of 16. And square root of 16 is still equal to 4. So, that is our A. So, we can jot it down. A equals to 4. Okay? Now, B na lang yung hinahanap natin, students. Okay? However, yung isa pang given natin is F, yung focus. Tandaan nyo na yung focus is associated with C kasi yung B is related sa conjugate axis, not on the focus. So therefore, we have to first find for the C before we can find for the B. Nakuha? Na kung matatandaan nyo, again, using the distance formula, I've erased it na, pero sige lang. So using the distance formula, we can actually find for the C because if you can still remember, from the focus, let's say this is the focus, Okay, this is, this is the hy hy hyperbola. From the center to the focus is C. Okay? From the center to the focus is C. That means from the center to any of this focus is equal to C. Nakuha? So we can actually use that to, uh, to solve for the distance. So using the distance formula, so C would be equal to square root of x sub 2, right? x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay? So, since our um, center is x sub 2, x, y sub 2 na, we can choose kung nasaan dito yung um, x sub 1 tsaka y sub 1 natin. So, let's say yung positive na lang para mas madali. So, this would be um, x sub 1, this would be y sub 1. Okay? Just take note of that. So, the, um, if we're going to solve this, C would be equal to the square root of yung x sub 2 natin, which is 7. Again, we are looking for the center and the focus. Okay? 7 ma minus okay, yung x sub 1 na 17 squared. Okay? Plus 
yung y sub 2 natin is 1 minus 1 squared. Tama? So, yeah, that is correct. So, c would be equal to the square root of negative 10 squared. Kasi 7 minus 17 is negative 10. 1 minus 1 is already 0. So, no need to write. Okay? So, here we have c equals square root of 100. Tama? And there, then, the c is equal to 10. Or, by the way, this is not... Yeah, c. Correct. c is equal to 10. So, therefore, c is equal to 10. There you go. We have now given c equals to 10. Okay? Pero hindi pa natin malalaman yung standard form of equation kasi we still need the b. However, since meron na tayong a tsaka c, we can solve for our b na. Kuha? So, yung b natin dyan, students, is using the formula b squared equals um, c squared minus tawag dito? c squared minus um, a squared. Okay? So, that would be b squared equals c squared is 10 squared minus 4 squared. Kuha? And that would be b squared equals 10 squared is 100 minus 4 squared is 16. So, b squared equals 100 minus 16 is, um, that would be 84. Right? So, actually, we can write it down na. Okay? We don't need to um, put a square root sign na here because um, yung given naman sa standard form natin is b squared. So, b squared, we can say na yung b squared is equal to 84. Okay? Later, maintindihan niyo kung bakit. Okay. So, now, we are complete in given. Right? We can now substitute it to our formula. Now, question, anong formula or anong standard form ang gagamitin natin? Is our hyperbola horizontal or vertical? The answer is horizontal. That means, nasaan yung A? Nasa ilalim ng X or nasa ilalim ng Y? The answer is, nasa ilalim ng X. So, yung formula na gagamitin natin is X minus H, quantity squared, over A squared. Okay? Minus Y minus K, quantity squared, over B squared. That is equal to 1. Yan yung formula na gagamitin natin, students. Okay? Just take note of that one. And then, substitute all of the given. Since we have now the center, tandaan nyo ang center natin is HK. Therefore, H is 7. K is 1. Right? So, substitute it lang, all of the given. So, X minus H natin na 7 quantity squared. Right? Over yung A natin na 4 squared. Okay? Minus Y minus k na 1 squared over b na, or b squared, as what you can see, sabi ko kanina, uh, no need to get the, rid of the square, square because, again, automatic, b squared dito, b squared dito. So, since b squared is equal to 84, we can directly write 84. Okay? That's equal to 1. Now, in this case, oh, my 4 squared pa tayo, so that would be x minus 7 quantity squared over 4 squared is 16 minus y minus 1 quantity squared over 84. And that is equal to 1. This is our final answer. Okay? That is the standard form of the equation ng ating hyperbola. Wa? So next is, let's proceed with the conversion. Okay? Let's proceed with the general form of equation ng ating hyperbola. So general form of equation ng hyperbola here um, let me give you a sample problem. So, transform the standard form of the equation of hyperbola given by x, o, x squared over 10 minus y squared over 12 kuha, equals 1 into its general form. Question, ano nga ba yung general form ng, ng hyperbola natin? So, yung general form ng hyperbola natin, student, is in the form of that would be a x squared plus c y squared plus d x plus e y plus f equals zero. Yan yung general form ng ating hyperbola. Okay? Now, paano to? Take note na parang same sila ng ellipse, pero there is a difference. If we're going to multiply a and c, or coefficient ng x squared saka y squared, so that would be a times c, Okay? 
it should be less than zero. And any number less than zero are negative numbers. Okay? That means if we multiply these two, the answer should be negative. That also makes sense because, uh, yeah, that, that will also lead us to uh, in a conclusion na ang isang value, it's either this one or this one, one of them is negative. Okay? Take note of that one. One of them should be negative pagdating sa hyperbola. Okay? So, let's go back sa ating um, equation or sa ating problem. So, problem number 5, transform the standard form of the equation of hyperbola given by x squared. Okay, so, I'll just write it down. That will be x squared over 10 minus y squared over 12 equals 1. Okay? So, that would be this one. Determine the standard form as what you can see, or sorry, determine the general form as what you can see. This is in standard form, so we have to convert. Okay, so ano yung gagawin natin? First step, so we have here fraction, right? A uh, first step is we have to find for the LCD or the LCM. Ano yung LCM ng 10 chaka 12? That would be 60, right? What are we going to do with 60? Multiply all terms by 60. Lahat ng terms dapat multiplied by 60. 60 times x squared divided by 10. So, 60 divided 10 is 6 times x squared is 6x squared. Okay? 60 times negative y over 12. 60 divided 12 is 5 times y squared is negative 5y squared. Kuha? And of course, wag natin kalimutan yung 1. Again, sabi ko kanina, all terms inside the parentheses should be multiplied by the LCM. So that would be equal to 60 times 1 is 60. Okay? And kung mahahala tayo yung students, sa ating general form, yung natitira always sa right side is 0. So dapat yung 60 dito magiging 0. What are we going to do with 60? Transpose to the left side of the equation. So that would be 6x squared minus 5y squared from positive, magiging negative, 60 equals 0. This will be our standard form. Okay? Uh, sorry, general form. Okay? Just take note of that one. Next, let's proceed with the other one. Another one is, let's say we have... Okay, determine the general form of the equation of hyperbola whose standard form is y minus 5 quantity squared over 16 minus okay minus x plus 1 quantity squared over 9 equals 1 okay so let me write it down so 16 minus x plus 1 quantity squared over 9 equals 1 okay so students same process lang actually okay same process lang naman yan actually now all we have to do again is simply get the LCM of 16 and 9. And what is the LCM of that? That is 144. So we have to multiply all terms. Again, all terms by 144. So just um, remember that one. All terms, ha? don't forget na yung one sa, sa dulo. Okay? So, if we're going to multiply this, 144 divided 16 is 9. Multiply to the numerator, 9 times y minus 5 quantity squared. Okay? Minus, next is 9, uh, 144 minus, divide 9 is 16 times, yung numerator is 16 times x plus 1 quantity squared. Okay? And then, that would be equal to 144 times 1 is 140. Four. Okay? Then, deal with the parentheses first. My exponent sila. So, that would be 9 times square of the first term, y squared, twice the product of this one, so negative 10y. Then, square of the last term, that is positive 25. Okay? And that is minus 16 times x squared plus 2x plus 1. Students, you can double check by expanding this and using FOIL method. Pero dinare ko nang para mas, mas mabilis. Okay? So that would be equal to 144. Okay. 
So, distribute 9 inside the parentheses. So, distribute natin. 9 times y squared is 9y squared. 9 times negative 10 is negative 90y. Okay? 9 times positive 25, how much is that? That is positive 225. Okay? And then, um, we have here minus 16 times x squared is 16x squared. Okay? But negative 16 times positive 2, that is negative 32x. Negative 16 times positive 1 is negative 16. And then, kumala tayo na kanina, um, 0 dapat yung matitira. So, transpose mo na kagad yung 144 to the left side. So, from positive magiging negative 144. Anong matitira sa right side? 0. Okay? So, just take note of that one. Then, combine similar terms if meron. So, I'll just erase yung nasa itaas. Okay. So, again. Makita pa ba? Yes, kita pa. So, again, this will be 9y squared. Okay? Then, um, minus 16x squared. Okay? Minus 90y minus 32x. Okay? 225, or sorry, negative 16 plus 144. That would be um, two twenty. Um, that would be zero. Carry one sixty. One sixty, right? So this is one sixty. So two twenty five minus one sixty. So that is two twenty five minus one sixty. That is five twenty two. That's twelve six sixty five. The answer is positive sixty five equals zero. So this is our final answer or the general form of equation ng um, hyperbola. Kwa? Next, let's proceed with the last example. Last example here, students, is what you call the... Teka. Last example is what if from general to standard naman. Okay? So, let's say we have a given 3x squared minus 4y squared all over... Uh, sorry. Minus 24x minus 24y minus 48 find for the standard form of the equation ng hyperbola. Okay? So, let me write down ng given. Write down natin muna yung given natin. So, that would be um, 3x squared minus 4y squared minus 24x minus 24y right? Minus 48 equals 0. Kuha? So, though, that is our given. Okay. So, what are we going to do with this one? First is, of course, regroup. Regroup muna natin yung mga terms with common variable. So, common variable is x and x. So, that would be 3x squared minus 24x. Okay? So, again, regroup. When I say regroup, put a parenthesis. Then, proceed tayo sa addition students. Copy the sign of y, that is negative 4y squared minus 24y. Okay? And then, lahat ng constant should be on the right side. So, yung negative 48 uh, transpose to the right side magiging positive 48. Okay? Take note of that one. Next is, let's proceed with um, common monomial factoring. Anong common between... Um, 3x squared tsaka negative 24x. Or students, yung target natin dito is dapat yung x squared natin tsaka y squared should uh, dapat wala silang coefficient. So kung ano man yung katabi ng x squared dapat ilagay sa labas ng parenthesis. So we put 3 outside of the parenthesis. Okay? That was 3 times yung matitira sa loob is x squared. Okay? Then negative 24 divide 3 is negative 8x. Okay? Sa kabila naman, palabas natin yung negative 4, so direkta na tayo minus 4 times y squared. Okay? Negative 24 divide negative 4 is positive 6y. That is equal to 48. Okay? Next step is by completing the square. Paano mag-complete ng square? We have to look at the coefficient of x and y. Students, x and y, not x squared saka y squared. So that is negative 8 saka positive 6. 
Okay? So what will what are we going to do with that one? Negative 8, divide negative 8 by 2, then square that. And that would be negative 4 squared, and that is equal to 16. Anong gagawin sa 16? Add it on the group of x. Kuma? So we have to add that one in the group of x. So pag inad natin siya, so that would be 3 times x squared minus 8x plus 16. Kuma? Minus 4, okay, y squared plus 6y. On this case, sa 6y naman tayo, so 6 divide 2, quantity squared. Kuha, makita pa ba yung ink natin? Change ko lang yung um, kuha natin, um, marker. Okay, so students, sorry for that. So, balik tayo dito. So, 6 divided 2 is equal to? 6 divided 2 is equal to 3 squared and that is equal to 9. Okay? Anong gagawin sa 9? Um, add natin dito sa part na to. Okay? Sa group of y, so that would be plus 9. Right? And that is equal to 48. Now, however, students, again, Kung ano yung inad natin or minus dito sa kabila, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa right side. So dito nag-add tayo ng 16. Anong i-add natin doon? 16 din ba? No, not 16. Remember, we still have 3 sa labas. So if we're going to multiply 3 by 16, yan yung total na inad natin dito sa loob. Okay? So 3 times 16 is 48. So since plus, so we have to add here positive 48. Okay? Take note of that one. Another is, sa kabila naman, nag-add tayo ng 9, pero we still have negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 9 is negative 36. Since negative, we have to minus 36. Okay? So that's how you do this one. Next is copy, 3 times, ang factoring na nito, yung square, this is perfect square trinomial, okay? We just have to get the square root of x squared, that is x. Then, kung ano yung sign sa, sa gitna, that is minus, square root ng 16 is 4 squared. Okay? That is minus 4 times y, okay? Square root nyan, plus square root of 9 is 3, then put a square. Okay? That would be equal to 48 plus 48 minus 36. 48 minus 36 is 12. 12 plus 48 is 60. So, that is equal to 60. Okay? However, students, sa gender, as a standard form natin, if you can still remember, lahat ng natitira sa right side is always 1. So, dapat yung 60 magiging 1. What are we going to do? Divide all terms by 60. Again, all terms. Lahat ng terms dapat divide by 60. So, 3 over 60 reduced to lowest term that is x minus 4. Quantity squared reduced to lowest term magiging 20. Okay? 3 over 60 is 1 over 20. Minus negative 4 over 60, so that would be y plus 3 quantity squared over four, uh, 4 over 60 is 1 over 15. Right? Kasi 15 times 4 is 60. And that is equal to 1. So therefore, this is our final answer. Okay? So I hope you learned something. Students, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, then comment na rin kung ano yung topic yung gusto ko yung i-discuss ko next time. Bye!